Where's the music? Hey friends, do you be here? I am, well, first of all, Happy New Year. It is finally 2021. And I don't know about you, but it has already been a crazy year. Today is January 9th. <laughs> it is just nine days into the month and it has already been a crazy year. Um, let's see. We have a new president. He'll be officially taking office on the 20th and that has been a roller coaster. I'm sure everyone knows. Um, the Capitol was stormed by domestic terrorists. That was pretty crazy. Um, what else happened? There have been a crazy, there's been like this crazy spike of cases from the pandemic on my island as well as throughout the country. But of course, I guess my biggest concern is my island because that's where I live. Um, that's crazy. They have pushed back the day that the kids, like, they were starting to phase kids back into school. And they pushed that back a whole month. So that was crazy. And I work at a school, so it was especially crazy for me because it kind of changed, like, all kinds of things. I went off island for a doctor's appointment with my kid. And I didn't bring a doctor's note when I got back, so I had to quarantine for 10 days. And that during that 10 days is when I broke my lip ring. And so I never went and bought a new ring. And in the beginning of all of this craziness, it was spring break. We brought our daughter home from college. Um, and it was fine. Like, it was a bummer because she was supposed to travel to South America. But um, she wasn't able to. And so we just had to deal with that. And then, um, the kids stayed home through the end of the school year. We had one child graduate in May, in the middle of this all, so it was a drive through graduation. That was interesting, but, you know, it is what it is, and it was great for her. That's actually... It was an ideal graduation ceremony for her because she's not one for all of the pomp and circumstance, honestly. So she was fine with that. Um, and then the year rolled on. And as it rolled on, I just rolled with the punches. Honestly, at first I was loving it because I don't consider myself to be an introvert. But um, our family is very, very busy with eight kids um, we've always done sports and church and community activities. So we were like super, super busy. And then my husband and I both work. So like between working and volunteering and making sure that the kids do sports. And then, um, my husband and I both trying to be active for ourselves with health and fitness. Like we are just really like a nonstop family. And so it was actually kind of nice to, like not feel guilty about not going anywhere and like not having to see people or you know like be social I shouldn't say see people but like to be social and stuff like it was okay to like not feel bad when like you don't want to go and so you don't go and so um I was actually kind of okay with that and then um because um I have more than one job one of them I continued to work because I'm a whole healthcare provider and so um the nature of my job kind of shifted a little bit but I still was working so I still had income coming in and so um I decided to use some of that free time to get certifications and things and like learn new skills and all that kind of stuff so that wasn't so bad either so i feel like okay i'm still being productive and i'm just rolling with the punches and then you know i am a parent so i'm still like trying to keep the kids active in you know creative ways and so i invested in um a lot of sports equipment for here at the house so that the kids could like still work out and stuff and then um i got my um, personal training certificate so i um 
invested in some tools for my trade and so you know like it was like you know I was just like rolling and just keep you know moving forward like just keep moving forward just keep swimming right and it was all good and it never I don't think I actually like digested what was going on to the fullest extent until um, the holidays came around and my oldest daughter couldn't come and like my dad my dad my Hanai uncle my father-in-law and my oldest daughter they all usually roll through from Thanksgiving to New Year's they all try to like find a way to come over at some point not all at the same time usually but like you know at different points and so this year like nobody could come and that was kind of okay because we're like, you know, for the older ones, we're just like, yeah, let's just keep you guys safe. And, you know, um, because we're on an island, you know, things like circulate super fast and then they kind of stay because it's an island. So nobody can like just drive away and stuff. But when the tourists come in, like we would have random spikes. And so it was kind of nice to just like everybody stay where you are. That's fine. But then when it came to my daughter, I was like, well, but like it's different, right? And then the flights were like super, super cheap. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go and visit her. And my, and then of course, turns out that I can't visit her because the cases where she's at just was beyond out of control. It was like some of the worst in the country. So at that time, and so I was just like, are you kidding me right now? Like, this is ridiculous. And I think that's when it kind of started to hit me because it was like, well, like subconsciously, I think it started to like dawn on me. Like, I'm not, like, I love Christmas. I love to decorate. I play music from like, Literally, like, I play music from, like, November 1st until, like, January. Like, just straight through. Like, I just love Christmas music. I play it in July. Like, I'll play it whenever, actually. But, like, especially during the holiday season, like, I'm totally, like, I love Christmas. And then I want to decorate, like, as soon as possible. Um, we had a really great tree this year. Like, we literally got it, like, right, um, I want to say, like, the day or two after Thanksgiving one or two days after Thanksgiving, the tree was up and it, and it seriously stayed green through January, like, um, fourth, I think is when we took it down. I was just like, like, there was so much that was so right. But then at the same time, there was like this, um, subconscious, like, something's different type of thing going on. And I really wasn't acknowledging it. And so... Um, and then the kids are back in school so like school restarted in August September and um, August actually we started on August 17th that's my kids birthday so it actually restarted on my kids birthday and so they've been doing their classes online my college girls are doing their classes online everything is online and it's just like and then I work at a school and we do have some classes um, on campus but I feel like it's arrested development because they're wearing masks all the time and they have to like keep six um, feet apart while they're walking. And this is elementary school kids. So for them, it's really challenging. Like they don't know six feet. Like I don't know six feet. Like <laughs> It's just been so heartbreaking to see the kids have to, you know, deal with this. And, um... At the same time, like, we have to teach them that this is what it is, and whether it stays like this or it, you know, goes away quickly, what we all need to do is learn to persevere, push through, and maintain and be successful regardless, right? I didn't, but that's the thing, like, I didn't really realize how much of a challenge it really was, and I didn't really realize how much I was affected by the challenge. And so like I'm um, I'm doing my thing and I'm trying to remain positive and trying to um, be a good role model to my own kids about, you know, um, accepting life as it comes, making the most of the situation, um, 
pushing ahead and persevering. But at some point, like, you also have to grieve what you lo- what you've lost. We've lost a year basically like in March. It's it's February, it's January 9th, right? So and I'm pretty sure that this whole situation is not going to be done by March, right? So it'll be a year that we've been experiencing this and living with this. And so we need to grieve that we lost a year. It's okay. Like it's okay to acknowledge that a year of your life has been um, stymied in a way because of the situation, not this worldwide situation. And like, I wasn't really acknowledging that because I was so busy, like being positive and like keep moving forward and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, and it's really funny because at the same time I'm telling them it's okay, but like, I'm not really doing it. And I didn't realize that I wasn't doing it. And that was kind of funky because when I realized it, it was like, the end of December, beginning of January, and I'm just like, hey, like, somewhere along the way, I kind of got, not, I want to say stuck, but I kind of, like, slowed down, and all the things, like, I had been just going, 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 and just, like, pushing myself to do all these new things, and, like, telling myself, like, you know, I just got to do it, and, like, like, make the most of this time, you know, like, we've got all this free time on our hands, why wouldn't we be leveling up in every way possible and then I realized like some ways I definitely did level up no doubt but in other ways I like let myself totally go and I was so then I was so disappointed and I was just like okay wait a minute like what really happened in my life and I needed to like stop and acknowledge that and and acknowledging that like grieve what did I lose so that I can because um And and when I, yeah, and like when I say grief, I don't mean like just around being sad about it, but like, like accepting the loss and acknowledging the loss and feeling like I did lose something, like I did, then um, we needed to decide what 2021 is going to be like. And so... For me, um, I had to get, I've decided that I need to get back on track. Like, I need to get back into my fitness. I need to get back into my, you know, proper diet. I need to get back into my, um, the cycles that I feel like were, were the best for me. That had me feeling really good because I haven't been feeling really good. And then as a result of not feeling really good, I'm not doing the other things that I want to do. I don't have the same energy and mental clarity and, um, enthusiasm to do some things. And I believe it's all like related. And so, um, that is something that I've decided to do. And then I've been watching my fate when I'm okay. So my right now, one of my favorite YouTube, um, van lifers is, um, Janelle Eliana. I'm Janelle, and I live in a van. With my pet snake, Alfredo. All right. She's like totally just so adorable and so fun. And her attitude about life is really, really simple. Um, And I appreciate that. And um, as a mom, I pray that my kids have a lot of that same attitude about things like you know be bold and courageous be um, wise in what you do um, and be authentic and true to yourself and um, and choose to be a happy person and pursue that in your actions and allow you know the space of the universe to meet you where you're at and to bring joy to others from you being authentic and true to yourself and so um and that's great advice for anybody so even at my age I'm just like really inspired and motivated by her to do one thing and that is choose to be a happier person and so I know 
there are certain things that I need to do to make me a happy person. Eating well and exercising are definitely like the top things. And so one thing that I um, really, really noticed and admired that I need to really work on, and it's something that has been really drilled into my head through different programs that I'm a part of, but I still haven't like mastered. When I was younger, I did it all the time, but as I've gotten older, I notice now that I have fallen away from it, and it's journaling. And so, um, and it's not just journaling my perfect day, it's just journaling, period. Um, beginning with gratefulness and hopes and dreams and um, and then even the realities of what today was and then allowing because when I do that for me what I when I do that I notice that what I also do is take from like the challenge that I saw that I experienced today and take from that okay so what did I learn you know so if I feel like, um, like, I don't know if I've ever shared this on a video before, but there was like somebody that really frustrated me and to the point where like I was feeling super anxious about even talking with them, which is totally outside of my character. And, um, and so I dealt with that. And then what I realized in dealing with that was that I just needed to pray for them. And then in doing that, God just lifted the weight of the burden of that feeling and that anxiety off of me and I had peace and I um, peace to the point where like I didn't even have negative feelings toward that person when I saw them and I and my way is not to pray like God do this and that to them or you know whatever my way is to pray God just bless them abundantly so that they can be filled with joy and then let their joy overflow because I feel like if a person is being mean or miserable it's because they I believe hurt people hurt people so if they're being miser mean and miserable it's because they are feeling mean like somebody's being mean and miserable to them and that is what is overflowing into their life and so it's overflowing from their life so let's fill them with love peace and joy and let that overflow from their life and to other people's lives right so and that worked for me and so I have to do that for myself too, right? And so, um, so that is one of the decisions that I've made for 2021. So, so my 2021 plan of action is, um, so I want to wake up and do some yoga. I want to do meditations and I can always meditate on the word. So, I mean, there's never a problem there. Um, I want to journal and I want to um, improve my eating habits again and get disciplined and just do a cleanse. Because I'm thinking like, so I'm thinking for Lent this year, I'm going to do a 40 day fast. Um, but yeah, so that's like, so that's the plan. And then... Um, I've been really wanting to focus on learning how to trade in stocks and so I joined a group um, so that I can learn that and I haven't really spent as much time on that yet simply just because of like everything that's been going on and so um, my personality is very much like ABCD. I want to finish what I've started before I take on new things but then I take on new things when I see a great deal because, you know, and I'm going to be like super stereotypical and lame. I'm going to say because I'm a woman, when I see a great deal, I got to jump on it. But um, I saw a great deal, so I jumped on it. <laughs> and so I want to, um, but I want to, I want to dig into that, right? And so, um, and it just keeps coming up in different ways at me and actually have, so, so yeah, see, I have a lot that I want to get done in this year and I believe fully that it's gonna happen I just need to get the first things first taken care of so and then from there just take it one step at a time and share with you guys what's been going on or what is going on and um, hopefully also there will be some lives this year now I don't think that they're gonna be on YouTube yet I think I'm gonna do the lives through my my um, 
my brand resume dianaguzby.com so um yeah i think i even have one scheduled for tonight but that's just kind of like me testing it out and seeing if i'm going to be comfortable doing lives so we'll see um but yeah so that's what's going on that's what's going to happen this year and um i do plan to bring you guys more into it um god is good and so um i think that it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good you know i don't know what's gonna happen in our country i don't know you know how people are gonna act and react and all that kind of stuff but i know this um i believe daniel in the lion's den the three boys in the furnace like I believe in supernatural protection from all kinds of chaos and whatever. So um, I'm claiming that for myself and my family and my loved ones and my friends. And so if, um, if you're worried about what's going on in the world, I say grab a hold of your faith, stay true, stay strong, and just keep giving love and you'll be okay. I believe that so all right guys today is Saturday the 9th tomorrow is Sunday the 10th and it will be the possibly second maybe the first day that I'm gonna start doing the whole wake up in the morning and do all my good stuff stuff so if that's the case I will try to catch it on video and if not then that's okay too baby steps but I'm stepping here comes the hot step okay not <laughs> okay peace out you guys have a great day thank you for watching or listening I hope this content has helped you in any way maybe motivated or inspired you maybe it's triggered an idea Maybe it's gotten you out of a rut. Maybe it's simply entertained you. Listen, I'm just a mom and wife who lost her way in the process of taking care of everyone around her, ending up overweight, depressed, and lonely. From rock bottom, I rediscovered myself, a new passion for life and a purpose outside of my comfort zone. I shifted into running my own business and I've never looked back. If you want to follow me on my journey or connect further, you can either go to my blog at dianigoosby.com, that's dianigoosby.com, or click the link in the description. Aloha for now, my friends. <laughs>